Reunions. We're all waiting for the day when we can snuggle up on the couch with the people we love. One family says they've been waiting five years, but COVID-19 might alter their plans. I just miss him. After five years apart, Susie Starks' brother David. David was a primary caregiver for my mom. Is finally coming home. My mom is 87. She's got COPD. His mom has counted the days. She was recently diagnosed with dementia and she has congestive heart failure. Um, when they diagnosed her in January, they gave her a prognosis of about six months to live. I want David to be able to see her. You know, I, I really, really believe she is here because she's waiting to see David. But David, who is ending a five-year prison sentence, must first complete reentry orientation at this facility in Minneapolis. And according to the Federal Bureau of Prisons website, there are 18 active cases of COVID at this home. Susie says her brother has diabetes, putting him in the high risk category. Well, sending him to the halfway house, it's a Petri dish of coronavirus and sending him there is ultimately or potentially giving him a life sentence for a crime that he's already served the time for. You've got 33% of the residents with coronavirus, 58 men in one house. You cannot safely socially distance in that environment. It's standard protocol for a person to go to a residential reentry center or halfway house to complete orientation and obtain an electronic monitoring device. If approved, former inmates are released to home confinement. After a home inspection via FaceTime, the Starks say David was approved, but Susie says a halfway house representative told her they never received any paperwork. Nobody has the approval letter for David's home confinement except his case manager in Duluth and the United States Probation Office. And I'm afraid if they sent him there, I've had, I had, had coronavirus, my daughter had it. It took me two weeks to get better. I don't know how long it would take him to get better or if he would get better. I mean, this isn't the flu, people are dying. And whether he's coming out of prison or not, this is a human being. A son who has waited five years to hug his mother. She's in assisted living, so he won't be able to go in and hug her. But to be able to do a window visit with her, um, I know that's what he's so looking forward to. And that's all my mom can talk about is when she can see David. David is scheduled to be released Monday at 8 a.m. His case manager was unable to comment. We did leave messages with the Federal Bureau of Prisons, but we have not heard back.